As long as I've done it, it's always just the coolest thing ever. Every single time, it's like, it's like I've never seen it before. It's brand new, it's these birds are doing this amazing thing. All they know is, I have to dance, I have to keep dancing. I gotta get these girls so that we can keep going. Most grouse species come to a dancing ground that we call a lek. These males gather in these meeting places and they're typically these beautiful open areas near really good sagebrush cover so that hens have a place to nest. What the hens do is they're typically finding their nest before they come to the lek. And these hens are gonna nest probably within about two miles of this lek. So the biggest males on the leks, the ones that dance the longest, have just the most elaborate display, and are typically the biggest, those are the males that get most of the hens. And that's just how it is in the grouse world. But really, it's all about energy. They have so much energy. They, have, they are so strong and have the most beautiful display. They want to keep that going. They want their genes to flow on. So those are the guys who are going to dance the longest and get the girls. And what sage grouse do is they have these air sacs that make these very interesting noises. And they're able to uh, inflate their air sacs and they fan out their tails and they kind of have this guttural sort of sound in their throat that you hear as well when they just go through the whole display. There'll be males that show up on leks around mid-February and they'll just kind of practice. They really get going around mid-March with their peak of hens coming onto the leks in late March to early April. Then you just have this continuous sort of defending their territories, a little bit of breeding from about second week of April all the way to the end of April with a little bit of carryover into May. When two males just decide that they really want to be on that piece of ground, that's their dancing spot on the floor. They start these fights. They puncture their air sacs. They sort of jump up and grab each other with their feet. They grab each other with their bills and just sort of yank on each other. And yeah, they, they can get pretty hurt. Now, an actual lek can be very, very old. So there were studies in Wyoming back in the 50s that showed that there were leks that were at least 200, 300 years old. They found old Native American arrowheads on these leks that were definitely bird points. So the extremely high site fidelity to the exact same spot. Across their range, um, sage grouse populations are declining. And most of the reason uh, why any wildlife species declines is loss of habitat. The idea of protecting sagebrush habitat in the name of sage grouse is they call sage grouse an umbrella species. And what that basically means is if the habitat is good enough for sage grouse, then it's good enough for a lot of these other species. And you're talking even little dicky birds, brewer sparrows, sagebrush thrashers, sage sparrows, pronghorn or another species that actually feeds on sagebrush, so not much can actually feed on sagebrush, it's quite toxic. Mule deer definitely are using it for everything, for, for cover, for thermal regulation in the winter, and you know, just having that structure on the landscape is just protecting mule deer in general, especially mule deer winter range. What, one thing we did notice this morning was we watched a lot of displaying. It was a really active lek. We're at the very end of the season. There were actually a couple hens on that lek. And at one point, there was a male that just sort of got up and he flew away. But he didn't just fly away like, I'm gone for the morning. He flew away. And I think what happens is this is a time of year when males are just going to get up and that guy just decided, you know what, I'm done. 
he just headed towards summer range and he's just going to go off and a couple males will will follow him and then within a week those that bulls birds will just be gone they're done for the season they'll be back next year